Remember Luke Hoan, the Rota Shimata is a 2.5D side-scroller shoot-em-up that existed in Japanese arcades, but later ended up being ported to the PlayStation 3 and 360. Today, it has been released as Memoru Kun Curse only on PlayStation Network. It's the localization done right. Memoru Kun Curse's story revolves around a boy who was hit by a truck, ends up on the netherworld with no memory, and ends up meeting up with other people who are on the same boat as him. As a result, that boy and friends must find out what the hell is going on. You will get an extension of the game's story via story mode. On gameplay, it is a traditional 2D over-the-top shooter, but you gain the ability to move freely without having the screen go for it itself. You do have your basic multi-directional shot, along with the newly introduced curse shot, which you hold on that button and release it on an enemy if it is fully charged up. You will gain tree goods to rack up your score, and additional time increases, and additional power-ups upon the enemy's death. Just pressing that curse shot button just ends in a special field that would normally get to certain enemies, but if you step on that field yourself, you will receive a temporary shot power boost. I was not able to find any issues with the controls. The modes you get are the arcade mode, that story mode I just mentioned, and the newly introduced Netherworld Adventures, where you can take on challenge courses full of stages as the game screen gets a widescreen increase. You do have unlimited continues in arcade mode, but if you lose all your lives in Netherworld Adventures or Story Mode, you will get a game over, making you start over from the beginning. This game is really brutal when it comes to difficulty. Nobody said it would be easy. As a Danmaku shooter, you may go through the practice mode so you can master the game. There are seven selectable characters, each with its own unique shot types. The game design may look dated, but this is a 2008 Japanese arcade game for the consoles. The design of the game is very great. Levels don't stick to one path, the characters are really lovable, and the graphics are done well. There are frame rate drops, but that is probably due to the console hardware. There are only online leaderboards, but there is no offline and online co-op. There are plenty of gallery unlocks, but there are also special settings such as how the game screen is viewed, so things can be made very easy for when you're laying down in bed and etc. Thanks to the free Day 1 DLC in the package, characters now have alternate costumes, and you have access to other additions that I have not went through before. Uh, yes, there is music in the game, but the music composed by Yosuke Yasui is awesome. It's really catchy and has a great arcade vibe. Mamoru Curse is an excellent ar arcade game port. I'm very grateful the Japan game was just brought to North America as a PlayStation Network download. This is a worthy $20 download and you do not want to miss. This game in all of its arcade glory has been translated to English and brought to the USA. This is a brilliant miracle for everyone, whether or not a shoot 'em up fanatic or an otaku. This game scores a B- with 80%.